Hey guys, this is C and welcome to our Crossing Chronicles YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to list down a few hacks that will make playing Animal Crossing a little bit more efficient. I understand some players may already know these tips, but I recently found comments on social media that there are still a lot of players who have been playing for a while and still do not know these tricks. So if you have more hacks to share that improves gameplay that I wasn't able to cover in this video, please comment those below, we'd love to know! Alright, let's get into it! While the crafting animation is super cute, with the materials flying all over the place, it can get pretty time consuming and annoying if you're crafting a bajillion of furniture to decorate your island. So to speed the animation up, tap A twice while crafting and it will be done faster. Stuck with another report from Isabel about her TV watching habits? We love you Isabel, but sometimes we just gotta get with a program. <laughs> program. See what I did there? <laughs> to speed up text, use B to make it go faster during the conversation. See you later Isabel! If you feel like sightseeing the island and walking around leisurely while appreciating your creations, you can do so by lightly tilting the joystick. If you're in a hurry and running around trying to find materials for yet another ironwood furniture, try holding B as you run to make your avatar sprint. Be careful around flowers though because you can ruin them by sprinting on them. On a quest to catch the fastest sea creature, you need swimming skills comparable to an Olympian. While swimming, tap or hold A to swim faster. Many people have accidentally erased the paths on the ground by pressing Y on the game, but you can also make your shovel last longer by pressing Y to cover up a hole you just dug instead of using your shovel. When speaking to Timmy at Nook's Cranny, did you know that you can sell multiple items at a time? I know this one seems a little obvious, but I have heard horror stories of people who has played through months not knowing this, so I thought this one is at least worth mentioning. Until you unlock all the tools at Nook's Cranny, tree branches are super important to keep crafting your tools. But sometimes, shaking trees means disturbing a wasp's nest. Yikes! Once you've found a tree that is safe, you can go back to it over and over again to gather unlimited tree branches in batches of 8 at a time. Don't have time for wasps and only want fruits or tree branches? Shake fruit trees instead. It won't give you any items though when you shake them, but at least you won't get stung by a horde of angry wasps. If you do encounter wasps, there are a few things you can do to defend yourself. Sprint away by holding B, then open your tool ring. This creates distance and time for you to go get your net. The wasps will hold their position while your tool ring is open. Get ready to cast your net on their direction when you close your tool ring. A second way is that instead of the net, put some party poppers on your tool ring. So it's the same as the first method, you go run away by holding B, and open your tool ring, but instead of a net, you put out a party popper and you pop that party popper towards the wasp and they will all disperse and run away. The third way is to run into a building. So the easiest for me is to run into the museum because it doesn't require me to press A to enter, but whatever nearest house will also work. Just run inside the house when you're being chased by angry wasps. I personally find Blathers adorable as I relate so much to his endless um, blather <laughs> whenever he is talking about things he likes, but sometimes we're just too busy or have heard this presentation before and just wants our fossils assessed. To make the conversation shorter, have multiple fossils assessed and creatures donated. Bladders will just think for a bit, accept them, and let you be in your merry way. Have you noticed the clothes hanging on the back side of Abel's sister shop? If you ever designed a custom clothing, you can actually hang those there for display, but this also allows villagers to wear your designs. 
But what if you're not fond of designing in-game? You can also have a designer friend visit your island and have them post their own designs in your shop. The diving capability was one of the first few abilities featured in Animal Crossing updates. You can enter the water through the beach or cannonball off a rock or the deck. But did you know that if you created a second level by the water, you can jump off of that too? Your character will do a cute little tumble as they jump off the second level making diving more fun. It's not a big secret that other players using your Switch can build their homes on your island, but did you know you can call them in, switch between the two accounts, and instantly double your storage? All you have to do is have two controllers, the two Joy-Cons will work, call the other person into the game and make them a leader. They can now access their storage and drop their items for you and then you can switch back to yourself as the leader again and pick up those items. Make sure that you're the leader again be before picking up those items because if you are not the leader and you pick up those items, it will not end up in your inventory. It will end up in the recycling bin on the residential services. So if you ever do this and you freak out because all the stuff that you picked up kind of disappeared, don't worry, just go to the recycling bin on the residential services and you will find them. All right, how many of the 13 hacks did you already know before watching the video? If you knew all of it, good for you. And if you didn't, then now you do. Please don't forget to like this video if you found the video helpful or fun. It helps me to know if I should make more. Definitely check out the rest of our channel and subscribe for Animal Crossing short films and villager videos. Till next time.